Hey you guys, it's Hannah Lynn. Welcome back to my channel. I have a very quick tutorial on how to contour and highlight using powders. So yeah, I hope someone finds this video helpful. Let's just jump into the tutorial. All right, so I started off with moisturizing my face. I also put on my foundation off camera and I set it with a translucent setting powder. I'll leave what I use down below. But now I'm just gonna jump into contouring my face. I'm using my Anastasia contour palette. Um, and the first color I'm going into is the banana color. And I'm just gonna use that underneath my eyes, um, on my the bridge of my nose, my chin, and the center of my forehead. That is just gonna cancel out any imperfections. I didn't use any concealer, so um, that'll just help kind of get rid of those bags. Now I'm picking up a blush brush and I'm going into that center shade there and I'm just going to start contouring and warming up my face. So I just make that little fishy face and it helps me find my um, cheekbone. So if you're a beginner that's a super helpful tip. And just start blending that in from the top of your cheekbone and just like fade it out down towards your lips. I don't know if that makes sense but kind of just watch what I'm doing and not listen to what I'm saying. <laughs> I'm just doing that to both sides. Get it all over. I'm really blending it into my hairline as well. If you guys notice because I don't want people to know where the contour starts and ends. I'm now contouring my forehead. I do this because I have a huge forehead so I want it to appear a little bit smaller by just like putting a shadow up there. I don't know. I do it. It works for me. And now, as you guys can see, I'm contouring my under my lip. It just kind of creates like a poutier lip. And now my nose. My nose is really fine. I don't know why I did this. And then I messed up. <laughs> that's what that face was. I was like, shoot. But that's okay. I just get this big kabuki brush and just blend out any of those imperfections. Just going in again. Contouring with powders, man, is just blending, blending, blending. I'm doing my underline, or uh, my underline, doing underneath my chin, like my jawline, because I have an at-risk double chin. If you know what I mean. Anyway. I'm just taking that kabuki brush and just blending out any harsh lines. I really suggest this part. Just go over everything that you did with a big old fluffy brush. Now I'm going into that, it's like a, just a skin tone. I don't even know the colors because they don't have them written on there. Um, I'm just cleaning up anywhere that looked a little too obvious. I don't know if that, like just blending. Now I'm going to put some blush on because I need some color back into my skin. That's just the e.l.f. blush too. It's really awesome. I love it. I've used it for years. Now I'm going in with some highlight. I would have used the highlight from my Anastasia kit, but I ran out of that a while ago. Oop. I forgot to set my face. I always highlight after I set my face. Okay, so now I'm using MAC Soft and Gentle on a little tapered br uh, blending brush and I'm just buffing that on the high points of my cheeks. I'm going to put it down the bridge of my nose and on the tip of my nose here in a minute and I just use my fingers for that. On the top of my lip, that makes my lips appear fuller as well. Put too much. There I go again. So yeah, you guys, that's how I contour and highlight using powders. Um, if you're a beginner in the whole contouring game, I definitely suggest getting this um, Anastasia contour kit. You can buy it at Ulta, Sephora, or even online. I will go ahead, I'll leave a link down below if you all wanna go check it out. Go ahead and like this video if it helped you out in any way or if you support me go ahead and just hit that thumbs up button down there and then also subscribe to uh, keep up with all my latest videos okay thank you guys for watching and I'll see you next time